Will you tell me what you just said? I really like him. Do you like him, Steven? I love him. <laughs> It's a sobering thought to know what we got. 18 summers wild, can't slow down the clock. We gotta make these numbers, can't hold you a lot. Tell you I love you for every single one of them. Watch. Alright everyone, today is a moving day. We are leaving the Bulo Plantation and heading inland towards Lake Apopka. So uh, I'm just getting started on the process. I've backed up the truck to connect to our hitch. Um, I've also gone ahead and hooked up our wireless. So if you want to know more about that, there is a video and I'll put the link in the description um, that talks about our setup here. Uh, you can see that it's already running, so plugged in, ready to go. All right, so I am lined up with my hitch, and I'm not ready to connect yet. Um, I have to, in order to be ready to hook up, I need to um, lift the front end, but I can't do that until I take off the stability jack. So I'm going to go through and do a little process, and I'm going to let you guys follow that if I can find a shady place to put the camera. We're just gonna get ready to go. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna record all the steps of undoing a trailer. Um, there's a ton of videos on that, and quite frankly, they're not any different. I mean, they're all the exact same. You have stability jacks. You put them up. Uh, it, it is what it is. Hey guys. So today we're trying to have a move day, but unfortunately, our AC in our truck is not working. So Hal right now is trying to fix it so that we can move on. Let me show you. Yeah. So he's on the phone right now with our friend Jeremy who knows a lot about cars and stuff and he's trying to help us out. Hopefully we can get going before too long because even though the wind is blowing and brings a nice cool breeze in, it's still kind of hot. Thank you. 
Jones. All right, guys, have we got a treat for you today. Today we are at the Gypsy Gold Gypsy Vonner Farm in Ocala, Florida. And this place is amazing. Dennis is the owner here, and he runs a beautiful facility with some of the most amazing horses I've ever seen. If you get a chance to come out here, please, please do. Now we're doing a tour, and I'm not gonna take you on the tour. You should come out and do that tour, but I am gonna show you around a bit. So this is, this is well worth seeing. If you're in the Florida area, Orlando, this is TripAdvisor's number one thing to do in Ocala. It is also the number 16 thing to do in all of Florida on TripAdvisor. So this is well worth coming to see. take a look right here you can see everybody on the tour right now and I'm just taking a break from them right now uh, just because I want to bring you some more footage this place is really beautiful it's really well organized um, there's a gift shop on site uh, the horses are beautiful and um, it's just a great facility when you come down here Dennis spends a little bit of time uh, in this hall of the barn talking about the history of Gypsy Vonners the breed, where they come from, who brought them to the US, all the information on them. Then you go on a tour, it's a one mile walking tour around this property. And I really wish that this camera would give you the true depth of what's here, because this property is huge. We're gonna try and get some aerial footage today. But this property is huge. As you can see, there are horses everywhere. Different ages are in different areas. I'm telling you, it's really hard to comprehend. We, we looked at pictures online. We talked to Dennis on the phone yesterday and we thought, oh, okay, this would be a neat place to go. When you get here, the beauty, the majesty of it, the feel of it is all very different. Um, I don't even, I don't know. I'm looking forward to finding out some more detail for you on the whole of this property, but it is absolutely amazing. All right guys, today is a move day, so we are kind of getting things back up. 
All right, so we've got the desk put down, the iMac is laying down, all the stuff here is ready to go. A couple little things to tidy up, make sure the keyboard stays on. All right, so this stuff here, the bread and everything, this still has to get put down. Uh, once the dishes are dry, they go up and put away. And then our um, bread and that goes into the microwave. And then all the appliances here, the water kettle, the coffee grinder, everything goes into the sink. So that's the next step there. The TV is down on that bed and put it up so it doesn't fall. And now I'm going to go outside and start working on the outside of the trailer. So while Randy and the kids are on the inside, I come out and I do the outside jobs. So uh, first things first is flushing the tanks. Um, we go about four days between campgrounds and typically we can go about three to four days um, between flushing the tanks. And, and that's, I should say, that's leaving the gray water open all the time. And then uh, around the third or fourth day as the black tank starts to fill, we then close the gray. And then after the process of a couple of showers or whatever, then it's full. So then we flush both tanks. Flush the black, and then we flush the gray. So, so I keep nitrile gloves underneath the uh, storage, or in the storage. Um, for flushing the tanks. I just don't, I don't like handling all that. It's just a lot easier if we have the, the gloves to keep everything safe and clean. Um, something new we added to our tanks is um, this flushback system. So it's this cap here. Uh, essentially that gives us the ability to kind of flush some water back up our tank uh, to help clear some of it out. So, um, kind of a weird process. I I'm not really thrilled handling all this stuff, but hey, you know what? We all got our parts, so um, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take a break. I'm not gonna show you this. It's really not, there's a million videos on how to do this, and I'm not the person to follow. So, uh, I'm gonna pause this, take care of the tanks, and then I'll come back to you. All right, so the tanks are flushed. Now, I'm not gonna disconnect just yet because Randy's still gonna make lunch for the kids inside. And um, there's still a few things that have to be done inside. So what I'll wind up doing is getting everything else ready. And at the very end, I'll come disconnect the sewer line. Then I'll disconnect the water line. Then I'll disconnect the power line. So anyways, that's the stage in which we do things. I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, get some stuff ready. Um, <clears throat> normally, I would have to start taking the trailer stabilizer jacks up in order to get uh, the truck over here and underneath to lift the nose. But the nose is already up pretty high because we're in kind of a we're in an uphill spot. So I'm gonna back the truck up and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hitch up today uh, early on. And it's a little earlier than I would normally hitch up, but quite frankly, there's still enough to do inside that my time. It really works well if I just get this done now. So that's what I'm going to do. Now the truck is lined up and ready to hitch up. I can't drop the hitch down to connect um, because my leveling jacks, my stability jacks are down. And so that's keeping us all level. So um, I am lined up. I'm gonna hook up some other stuff. And then when they're ready, then I'm gonna go ahead and drop the nose down. It's really gonna angle this RV. So while they're still in it, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna wait until they're ready to 
pull the slide in. So um, at this point, it's just a matter of waiting on the inside to get done before we handle anything else on the outside. They're still using the water, which means they've still got the gray water open to flow out. Um, and they're still using the power. So can't really do much until they're done with that. So. All right, so right now I've got Alima taking the Wi-Fi system down, pulling that all apart. Three components and all the plugs. Calvin. This piece so make sure your cords are crossed like that. Just like that. Okay, hold on, buddy. Oh, turn around. Yep. It's there up top. Ah, uh, Lima, right here. Plugs in. Everything's on, so we're good. All right. And there's Mulan in his comfortable blanket. Okay, so we're ready to start lowering the trailer. Okay, so right now, uh, I'm gonna back the trailer up just a couple inches. Randy's gonna grab the two wheel chocks out, put them inside the trailer, and then we're good to roll. And the kids are usually in here waiting on us. It's usually about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes from the time they get in the car till we get in the car. And they're, they're all set and ready to go. I'm sure Dad. they're... Yes? Um, I wanna do, I wanna play, play, play build your paper boat apps and Momo let me. Oh, okay. So I wanted to give you guys an update on Gilly. Gilly is our truck, in case you don't know that. Gilly had some air conditioning problems and Hal was able to fix it. It turned out that it was just a matter of some wires that were loose. So he tightened them all up and now Gilly is back on the road and we're all good to go with air. All right, so we've arrived at our location and I'm gonna go check in.